Hi, I'm Jim Jordan, speaking to you from Ashland, Oregon, November 17th, 2011. And today I want to talk to you about the effects of toxic metals on our health. And I have lately I've had a lot of clients who've come to see me with chronic fatigue syndrome, hormone depletion, you know, adrenal fatigue, uh, constant aches and pains, fibromyalgia, all kinds of symptoms like this. And I can relate uh, very well to these people because uh, 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, I had been through a similar thing. I was diagnosed in, I think it was like eh, 85 or so with chronic fatigue syndrome and Epstein-Barr virus and all kinds of things, you know, just chronic, basically uh, chronic inflammation, pain, I had headaches all the time, constipation, depression. So for, for about five or six years I was very ill and I didn't really function very well. I had to take a break from my career. Um, I was a lawyer at the time, just starting out as a lawyer. And I tried all kinds of things personally to get better. I went to conventional health doctors, allopathic doctors, psychiatrists, uh, even some alternative orthomolecular doctors they were called then using vitamin therapy and none of it really really worked at all. None of it worked at all actually. Um, what, what happened is that I, uh, at, at one point, I saw an osteopath who uh, was a great osteopath. He helped adjust, you know, my structure through the cranium bones. And, um, but he really helped me by telling me that I needed to get my dental work redone, which I had a mouth full of toxic metals, uh, mercury fillings, nickel-plated crowns and bridges. And um, he said that was really what was suppressing my immune system and my health. And I started working on this. It took me a few years to finally put the whole thing together, but when I got the dental work redone, I did some heavy metal detoxification, my health improved dramatically to the point where by the end of the 80s, by like 89 or 90, I was back to, to, to my old health, my good health. And I went back to my career as a lawyer for a while and then lost interest, had much more of a motivation to work in the healthcare field. And here I am today, you know, 20 years later, I've been in the nutrition field for uh, 15, 14 years now. And this is my work. So what happens is these toxic metals like mercury or aluminum or lead or cadmium and arsenic, all these can accumulate in your tissues over time. And what they do is they interrupt your cells from functioning properly. They don't get the oxygen they need. The heavy metals cause this, uh, the blood cells to stick together. So when you look at live blood under a microscope, you'll see lots of sticky blood and there's, that ultimately leads to poor oxygenation of the tissues. People have brain fog, they can't concentrate, they have, um, their immune system is suppressed. Uh, candida and other yeast and, and fungal conditions will start to overgrow the intestinal tract. So all this is very, very closely related to heavy metal toxicity. And for years now, for about 10 years, I've been testing people for heavy metals using um, what's called hair tissue mineral analysis, which is taking a sample of hair, sending it to a laboratory, that tested for mineral levels and metal levels. And the hair reflects uh, the overall body tissue levels of these toxic min uh, metals and these uh, nutrition minerals. And what I've found in, in every, virtually every case I've ever seen, I've ever used, and I've done hundreds of these, is that everybody has toxic levels of at least a couple of toxic uh, uh, components like mercury and aluminum. Other people have some more lead or arsenic or cadmium, but everybody's got mercury and aluminum in it. And I thought this is, it's incredible. So when you start to look at the sources of toxic metals, uh, from everywhere from your dental fillings with the mercury fillings in them, to aluminum can beverages, to antiperspirants, um, so many different environmental sources of toxic metals that that's explaining why people's systems are building up all these toxic metals. So what I say for my clients that are suffering from chronic fatigue, um, hypoadrenal function, low functioning thyroid, fibromyalgia, pain, poor memory, foggy head, um, just all these you know, general symptoms of malaise, is that we first, there's really two steps or three steps. The first step is identify what are the sources, current sources of toxicities you're exposed to and reduce or remove those sources. And at the same time, the second phase would be 
basically getting on a really healthy diet plan, one that's right for your own biochemistry. So for that, um, we have to talk about metabolic typing and sort of customizing your diet to your own individual metabolism. Supporting your endocrine system nutritionally, and then after you've gotten your liver working good and your kidneys working well, then it might take one to two months, then we would go into a heavy metal detoxification plan, which I would coach you on because there's specific steps you have to take so you don't overwhelm your body with the detox process. So that's really the, the, the plan that works the best. All at the same time uh, working with any emotional factors that are coming up and if you combine this all integrated together you're going to get results and that's what I've had personally that's what happened with me and many people I've coached over the years have had this uh, similar health regeneration by following this plan um, so I wanted to offer that to people through the internet, through YouTube clips. And if you have questions, you can call my office at 541-482-2250. My website is www.createvibranthealth.com. Thank you and have a great day.